A very good evening to you, dear pool lovers from wherever you are watching. Here we are once again. Welcome to the semi finals of what is an exciting ongoing eight man weekly competition happening here at Dice Lounge in Munyanyo, a suburb of Kampala players on table two of the finest talents in the country of Uganda. Ibrahim Kayanja, also known as Mosiramo, his second on Caesar Chandiga, nicknamed the Scorpion. They are racing to seven. My name is Peter Chebe. Welcome to the stream. Share the stream. Share the video. Tell a friend to call a friend to come. It's going to be nothing short of exciting. Live commentary is proceeding shortly. And just like that, Caesar wins the first frame of the match. They are racing to seven. We have prizes only for number one and two. This is not a very big competition. It is one of those weekly competitions for the players' fitness, of course, to win some cash and to check how ready they are for the next event. In this case, the grand finale of the Nile Special National Open Pool Championship. They are racing to seven. The winner of this one, of this game, of course, is assured of some cash prizes. There are two, only two of the eight who will be getting some cash. $300 shared between them, with number one taking 200 and number two taking home 100 US dollars. The two players, if I'm not mistaken, have faced off nine times before, and Caesar has been taking the lion's share of the victories. He has defeated Ibrahim Kayanja seven times. And Ibrahim Kayanja only twice. One of the last ones was, by the way, victory for Kayanja. That was the semi-final of the Bulaga weekly competition. That one which was won by Ibrahim Sajimba, who defeated Ibrahim Kayanja in the final. But in the semi-final, Ibrahim Kayanja defeated Caesar 7-4. That one was the very first time that Masiramu, as Ibrahim Kayanja is nicknamed, the first time that he defeated Caesar in a competitive match. Before then, it was six straight victories for Caesar. Ever since Caesar's return to the country around a year ago, he has been the biggest obstacle to Kayanja Ibrahim's quest to prove his worth as the country's seed number one because Caesar has been defeating him left, right, and center. But at around lunchtime today, he just promised me that today is going to be the third time he will defeat Caesar. They are racing to seven for a place in the final. A second final, a second semi final will be coming up after this very one. It will be more exciting than the previous two matches you watched. It will be Hazard taking on Gideon. And that one will provide the second finalist. 
to take on the winner of this match you are watching. Kanja Ibrahim in attack mode now. It won't come easy for him to see off these reds, especially considering the positioning of one of those red those red, he opens it up. The red ball I was saying is not positioned well. He has just delivered the magic which opens it up, but the opening was not a very lucky one because as it ended you can see even the black is almost cordoned off by the yellow ball of Caesar. The black is even more cordoned by the white ball just a few seconds ago in this ongoing sequence of play. And yet Ibrahim Kayanja misses the consequent shot. 1-0. Caesar up. Always watching. Thank you for watching Angela Bats. Shafiq Walusimbi. Spina Shamira Ob WBS. D. Kano. It seems the majority of people online, at least so far, seem to be Caesar supporters. I know Kayanja supporters are joining the stream very, very soon. You are watching the stream on the break and finish Facebook page. A new page to cover up for the Peter Chobe Live Facebook live streaming platform. After the Peter Chobe Live pool page was disabled by Facebook about 10 days or so ago, actually during the streaming of the Howley Cup, as Facebook mailed me because supposedly going live with the content that belongs to other people of course that's not true this is live content if it had an owner maybe myself and these players so the most likely thing that causes such a situation on facebook at times is that the page is being reported either way we proceed we move on because the sport is not supposed to lose when such And fortunate stuff happens. What you can do is to try and share the page and share these videos because the majority, the big majority, about 90% of the people who normally watch on the Peter Chobe Live full page do not even know, are not even aware that this page exists at all. So they are missing out. So our family is for now smaller in the meantime ibrahim kanja has equalized against caesar and scores are one one they are racing to seven i was also aware of the fact that some of you like to watch live streams on youtube but the fact that my main youtube channel that is peter chobe live can only for now have posted videos after the lives which are not live that is to do the live, I had to open another channel that is called Peter Chewy Live 2. If you want to watch live YouTube videos, just subscribe to the YouTube channel Peter Chewy Live 2. 2 is just a number 2. And hopefully, by the time we have the National Open Grand Finale, we shall be able to have live streaming both here on Facebook and YouTube. Of course, the YouTube channel needs to first have at least 50 subscribers. But after two days of opening, I've just checked and we are about 14. So we need to be about 50. Then after then only and after then can we go live. Caesar on attack mode. He's one of the most lethal players on the African continent, if not the most lethal. 
He has a very, very big temperament. He's still a very young man in his early 20s, but as brave as a very mature man on table. The, look at that. The bravery he displayed while marching against Aiden Joseph in the match which I called the Rumble in Johannesburg. You couldn't believe that this is a guy who has played the competitive pool for not more than five years. He's already on the table of men on the African continent. What is missing from his very huge wealth of talent are major competitions. One, major competitions on the local scene are most mostly competitions organized by the Pool Association of Uganda and of course international events the All Africa Pool Championships events like the Howley Cup events privately organized but attracting participants from different parts of the country the continent like the Mchana Open there's an event coming up in Zambia, there's an event coming up in Zimbabwe, another coming up in Eswatini. Those ones are the ones a player can use to stamp his mark. Among the real men in this sport, in terms of talent, there is no doubt. You cannot even name three players on the African continent and exclude this young man according to his performance today what he must start doing and underlying the word must is start winning the major competitions in the meantime he is facing a guy who is more determined to beat him than the case usually is Ibrahim Kayanja has just won a frame previously and he's looking good to make it two. Robert Ruta is today always watching. Thank you very much. Abel Kaninga. Robert, Robert, Robert. Robinson Matovu, Robert Mugabe, Angela Batts, Alvin Chilo Jackson, Mobs Mush, Johans just now, Victor Smith, and all of you guys who are deciding to see off this evening by enjoying the best of both Ugandan and African pool. Thank you for watching and welcome to the stream. This shall definitely be one of the last competitions these players will be engaging in before the big one, Uganda's National Open Pool Championship. It is going to be fire on the 11th of November. Mark the date. 11th of November, if you've never seen it before, you're going to see two players drive away in two brand new cars. One man and one lady. Those who will be crowned National Open or National Champion of Uganda will drive away on the 11th of November as Caesar Fowles. It's looking now increasingly likely that this is Kanja Ibra's frame to lose. 1-1. One, one. The race is 7. On the free shot. The intention for Ibrahim Kanja is to ensure 
that both scissors yellows are more or less frozen against each other such that sweeping off this frame is nothing short of easy for a player of the level of Ibrahim Makayanja. This time he is seeming to have the game to match Caesar both in body and mind. He has two choices of balls to start with. The one which is nearing the red, the white ball is the easiest option, of course. He is playing a follow shot on the red. Of course, he puts. He has to play to ensure that he does not lose control of the white ball, such that he puts red in the center and puts the next red in the corresponding corner pocket and he misses. He should be able, the many times he has played with Caesar, he must have the knowledge that once you give such chances to Caesar, you put your chances of winning in jeopardy. When you get a chance to put him down, just put him down. He has another chance. I'm not sure he can port easily. Of course, he misses. And just like that, he now knows that it is instead his opponent who is about to make it to one. Some of the things this guy does with the white ball, and yet he just makes them look easy as if obvious accurate shooting and Ibrahim Kanja concedes Ox scores are now officially 2-1 it is Caesar in the lead Malcolm Julius watching from Diplomatic Billiards Cafe in Kajansi. Thank you for watching from one, one of our favorite pool competition venues, Diplomatic Billiards Kajansi. If you're just joining the stream, it is the semi-final of an ongoing eight-man pool competition here at Dice Lounge in Manyanyo place is now very synonymous with the competitive pool. It only has one table, but it is a very, very popular table. Its proprietor owner, called the chairman, simply called chairman, they call him chairman, is such a keen lover of the sport. When Caesar arrived, he immediately tipped him with 100 US dollars in appreciation of his performance against Aiden in Johannesburg. These young men are sometimes too lucky. <laughs> in the meantime, scores are still 2-1. Caesar leading against Ibrahim Kayanja racing to 7 for a place in the final of this 8-man competition. Next match coming up also live will be Gideon Buanika taking on Hazo. Hazard Lukoma, Hazard Lukoma, action names. What can Ibrahim Kanja do? Maybe port and open up the red game. The opening is on, but most importantly, he does not port. One thing I th Ibrahim Kanja needs to realize is that he must not take a, he must not make a lot of risks. 
when taking on Caesar risks are many a times punishable performance against Caesar has now become some kind of yardstick to all these players regarding how far their game has grown Ibrahim Kanja was very 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 hot last year especially from mid to the end of the year he won so many competitions towards the end of the year however he lost a day old son which must have hit him so bad in the mind it took him another seven months to win any other competition of late he has been shooting good with the only anomaly in his performance being the failure to qualify alongside team uganda to participate in the all africa pool championships and the holy cup but in between those performances he won a number of money matches most notably twice against habib sebuguzi and notably had starting habib with three racing to 16 and ibrahim kanya being able to win 16 15 but that did not seize, stop caesar from head starting him with seven racing to 21 and caesar winning convincingly Kanja Ibra himself had started also Yuda same Busidemba but with three again racing to 16 and yet Kanja Ibrahim also won that much here he is somehow he neither puts nor fully occupies the pocket with his yellow ball this game is also as good as gone in favor of Caesar and first errors are almost criminal when your opponent is Caesar when you get the chance to bring him down bring him down Ibrahim Kayanja must know that this is now Caesar extending his lead to 3-1 yes he does 3-1 Caesar up We are at Dice Lounge in Munyanya, just by the shores of Lake Victoria.
We are back with the semi final of this eight man competition happening here at Dice Lounge in Monye. It's not yet too late if you want to join the action, if you want to come and witness this beautiful stuff with your naked eyes and not on your screen. As long as you are in and around Kampala, you are good to, bo to go. Monyanyo is around 20, 20 minutes maximum away from Kampala city but you could most likely come up against heavy traffic so the popular means of 
easily moving around is by motorcycle even less than 20 minutes and you are in Manyanyo Dice Lounge is near Shell just by the shores of Lake Victoria you can even throw a stone into the water from where we are it is that nearby the second biggest lake in the world on its shores is where we are watching Caesar Chandiga lead the 4 1 against Ibrahim Akanja in this ongoing eight man competition here at Dice Lounge in Manu. This is the stuff that Caesar normally produces. He wins games he's supposed to win. At times, he also wins games he's supposed to lose, like you are clearly seeing in this match. Around two of the games were more or less gifts from Kayanja. Nonetheless, Caesar now leads 5 1. Unless Ibrahim Kanja does produce something very special, this match is clearly, clearly, clearly. running away from him the next one watch out for Gideon Nebuanika that young man very talented taking on Hazard Lokoma, the last time Gideon was involved in a tournament like this it was at this very venue around three weeks ago he played against Caesar in the semi-finals and one of the games that Gideon, Gideon won in a losing effort eventually became the fastest apple ever to be scored by a Ugandan 68 seconds is the fastest game the least time in which a Ugandan, any Ugandan, has won a frame. 5 1. Caesar now to break. Today his breaks have been very, very, very okay. I don't remember when he last broke a frame and failed to put a ball. Let us look at this one. Yes, he breaks. He puts two reds. All the balls on the table are good, including the yellows, the reds, and the black. Even the white ball is in space. This is looking not good at all for Ibrahim Kayanja. For as long as Caesar can identify a ball to put, be it yellow, be it red. He goes for the reds and he closes the table playing the reds. We are at Dice Lounge. Manyanyo, feel free to come and join this pool party. I don't think for any pool lover there is any better way. You can have a Monday evening than watch these amazing talents take on one another they started eight for a lift and in the next few minutes we shall be left with only three only two of them out of the eight will be getting cash prizes it's the equivalent of 300 us dollars to share between number one and two with number one taking 200 and number two 100 As if Caesar is snookered, has snookered himself. Maybe this is the opportunity, the all important opportunity Ibrahim Makayanja wanted. Simply to have another turn on the table. Caesar finds the angle, but advantage Ibrahim Makayanja. It looked like he was not returning to the table, at least in this frame. Caesar 5. Ibrahim Makayanja won racing to seven. The last time these two guys faced off, if I'm not mistaken, was one of the very, very, very few times that Ibrahim Kayanja has ever defeated 
Caesar. That one ended 7-4. It was the semi-final of that Bulaga weekly competition. 7-4, Ibrahim Makayanja won. This time he is trailing 5-1. He's looking to make it too. He needs one big shot here. Put that yellow ball in that pocket where he's standing next. And maybe, maybe black ball either in the center pocket near where it is or in the corner pocket extreme left of your screen. Gary Dutch, Prince Jr., thank you for watching. Ibrahim Makanja pulls off one of those Ibrahim Makanja shots. All is full of skill full of precision that is how he wins that's how he loses sometimes he doesn't perfect those ones and that's how he gives away chances and finds himself trailing like he is now but this time he pulls one back and it was a very lovely clearance scores a 5-2 Feel free to share this stream to your friends who love pool. If you have Facebook groups for pool or for any sport or WhatsApp groups, feel free to share the stream such that we once again watch in the same numbers that we used to on the Peter Chobe live streaming platforms. We are not doing bad. This is just a one week's streaming page. Five to still. Caesar leading. Next semi final is Gideon taking on Hazard. What can Caesar do? He must be on target. This time he's not. He must be full of confidence. By the way, this is one of those very few places, maybe the only place where regular tournaments happen on a regular basis and Caesar has not won a competition. I also don't remember when he won at Diplomat Billiards in Kajans. Tricky looking frame this one. It will be determined by how these players react to that yellow ball which is occupying that pocket on the extreme right of your screen. Behind it are three yellows and two reds. Whoever effectively plays those balls will most likely, most likely win this frame. Ibrahim Kayanja has five reds, two of them are occupying three, I, I mean actually three are occupying three corner pockets and Caesar is now limited to playing all of his shots on only half of the table. 
He needs a big shot here. He misses the pot. I think the intention was to use the white ball to open up the pocket closest to your screen. None of the two intentions was achieved. I think you'll be happy by the fact that the white ball eventually did not put this red ball, although actually since he did not put his intended shot either. Watching from Kisumu, Kesho, CBPJ, Komeko, the Sharks, Ocean of Sharks, that full team. Welcome to the stream. Spice Tebiansala, watching from KR's home. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the stream. Miro Joshua. Freddy K. Chelsea. Junior Remish. Angela Butts. Eugene Bokanga. Ham Anko. Majority are rooting for Caesar win. Good luck to you and to him. Ntai Ryan. Junior Remish. Caesar on the yellows. He needs a big shot here. Decided to be a little more patient. Ibrahim Kanja, at least for this frame and the previous one, is now playing well and thinking well. Those are two important components you must be if you have any chance against Caesar. I don't know whether he has started this technical game a little too late. Caesar is one of those complete players. We'll take you on in an offensive frame offensive style but bring on this kind of game against him he will show you that he's equal to the task as well Ibrahim Kanja is deciding to remain patient and patient and patient and hopefully for him until Caesar is forced into an error The intention of Caesar, I think, was, apart from putting on target, was the white ball to open up that other yellow ball. Had that shot been pulled off, there would be no prizes for guessing which the shot of the tournament would turn out to be. He finds a way, this guy, this guy, this guy. He is once again snookered. But at times... He's one of those players whom you can call the gift that keeps on giving. At times you even wish that he finds himself in a tricky situation such that he he pulls off one of those Caesar shots. Always entertaining and yet meaning business with whatever shot he plays. Very, very, very lethal player, Caesar Chandiga. But this time in this situation, I do not see away. Maybe he can play the white ball off to cushions to find the black. You remember the manner in which he potted black in that shot of the tournament in Johannesburg. He's pulling off more or less the same shot. But finding the ball is one thing. Potting is another. He finds the ball but does not pot. This time Ibrahim Makanja will have no reason to fail to see off this frame. Current position of the white ball, he can start with any of the four reds on table. It's all about just game reading and a bit of white ball management and he will be good to go. Yes. Apart from the prizes for which they are competing, this is some kind of, for the eight players, warm-up for the grand finale of the Nile Special. 
National Open Pool Championship, Uganda's biggest competition, and in my book, the biggest local competition on the African continent. There is no other pool tournament on the continent which is as rewarding as Uganda's National Open Pool Championship. A lot more rewarding than even the Grand Michana Open. Yes, Ibrahim Mukayanja wins the second frame in a row and cuts his deficit to two frames. Score is 5-3. Here at I frankly do not remember the last time Caesar had such perfect perfect breaks as he has been today. The breaks are on and for him when the breaks are on you do not see how he is losing. The other very 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 little player when the break is on is his friend and big rival Ibrahim Sejemba. When the break is on, these two guys, you have to hope that the break is not on if you are to try and beat them. Yes, Ibrahim Makayanja somehow, somehow, somehow gets another chance on table. In this frame, it is the last thing I saw coming. As usual, plays to open up his own game. Gideon versus Hazard, that one is also coming up very shortly. In around 20 minutes maximum, one of these players will be out of this tournament. We shall know who before the second semi final. Gideon Hazard, you can also give the, give the prediction of that one maybe in the comment section. Once Caesar misses the ball completely, for once, Ibrahim Makanja on the attack, he's about to make it three consecutive frames, one against Caesar. If he sees off this frame and makes it three straight, irrespective of the outcome of the match, I will give him credit at least for the three in a row. <coughs> Giverton Jr., thank you for watching. energy energy his was a little too much 
he'll have another opportunity to redeem himself but this time he cannot afford another mistake no 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 this is nothing short of a mistake at this level you are not expected to fail to get the good cue ball for the same shot in consecutive times he misses and concedes the frame scores are now 6-3 for Ibrahim Kanja to win this match he must win all of the remaining four frames any other game won by Caesar then Ibrahim Makanja will be heading home immediately. Thank you guys for watching this new, I will say, prop up page. Just for us not to miss our videos by the disabling of the Peter Chobe Live Facebook page by Facebook. Ibrahim Kanja is out of sorts. He took no time in breaking and he hit the cue ball on the wrong spot. Ended up dropping the cue ball off the table. With the two visits for Caesar, Ibrahim Kanja knows and knows very well that it is as good as game down and game down means match down the reds are clearly the better balls Caesar will definitely be going for those ones in black ball rules the first shot is a free shot it does not close the table it leaves the table open no matter what table remains open but the intention is well noted to go with the reds Ibrahim Makayanja for him the learning curve continues when playing against such a senior shooter such a talented shooter such a lethal player there are some chances you do not give away and there are some opportunities you simply do not fail to take you can fail to take but be sure you are losing the match a big fall needed on the white ball maybe the white ball to bounce off two cushions and put the next red in the center pocket one two cushions accurate but by scissors body language i think i was quick to use the word accurate maybe he cannot see all of the ball enough to put it in the center pocket by his body language. I'm not sure. Maybe he's trying his luck. He was actually seeing it very well. He can put the black ball in the center or in the corner. Goes for the center. And sinks in the black. The fact that another yellow is spotted in the process is meaningless in blackboard rules. Winner of the match between Caesar and Ibrahim Makayanja is Caesar. He proceeds to the final to take on the winner of the next match between Gideon and Hazard. Thank you for watching. We meet in that one very shortly.